Hello, in this tutorial I will demonstrate to you how to calculate sample size using the software Excel Stat. To do that you have to use uh, Excel Stat which gets added on to Excel. It's a relatively expensive software but it is uh, versatile however not necessarily particularly user friendly in my opinion um, if we recently the stitch 2 trial was published although there was a difference uh, in the outcome between early surgery and uh, initial conservative management for intracerebral hematoma uh, the results were not significant. This was mainly that the calculated sample size was smaller than that was needed for the study finding to be significant. So if I were to repeat the stitch, the stitch trial, then um, how many patients would I need for the results to be significant. In the stitch trial, the favorable outcome in controls was 38%. Favorable outcome in the early surgery was 41%. The crossover from medical to surgery was 21%. And crossover from surgery to medical was 4%. So let's do this uh, uh, calculation. So go to Excel stat. I have uh, installed the power module in the Excel stat so I go to you probably are not seeing it so it's called clinical trials and uh, I get a dialog box so this is to find the sample size the study would be a, a superiority trial so one is better than the another the outcome is binary that favorable unfavorable the alpha the significant level is 0 0.05 let's say the power is 0.8 that's what that they had in the stitch trial the success of the control group was 40 38 percent the success of treatment group was 41 percent the crossover for control group was 21 percent the crossover for treatment group was four percent so let's click ok so the sample size calculation has been made and this is the results so if the power was 0 0.8 alpha was 0 0.05 and for a success rate of 38 percent for control and 41 percent for treatment group with the crossovers that we were mentioned before from uh, control to surgery being 21 percent from surgery to control being four percent then the sample size that would be needed would be 8,328 for that 3% favorable outcome to be statistically significant. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Uh, thank you very much. Wishing you a good day.